All right, guys, so we are here. You just saw me set up the patio, get it all ready to go for the season. And now it is time to plant up my new containers. And I am extremely excited about these containers. These are Aquapots. So these are a Michael Carr design that is sold by Proven Winners. And what is an Aquapot? I'm gonna put the tag on the screen. Uh, so you can kind of see the schematic of the tag here, but this pot does not have a drain hole in the very bottom. The drain hole is up the side here so that you create a water reservoir. And inside this container, you have a pipe that fits in, that stays at soil level. So you can put water down into that reservoir and you have a reservoir and soil separator. So, as you can see here, it's got a hole all the way through. So soil will go all the way to the bottom of the pot in this tube, and then from here up to the surface. And what that's going to do is create good water to soil contact while maintaining my water reservoir pocket at the bottom. This handy dandy pipe right here makes it easy to keep that reservoir topped off. And when you're ready to top it off, all you have to do is fill the reservoir until water overflows out of the drain hole on the side of the pot and you know it's full. This is the antique white pot. And I have two of them. So I have one on this corner and one on that corner, which you saw me place. So now we get to have the fun part of filling these containers up. Okay, I've got enough soil in here that now I can start placing my plants. And let me show you what I am gonna be putting in these pots. All right, so what are we gonna be planting in this container? Well, keeping in mind our rule of planting in containers or baskets, we need a thriller, we need a filler, and we need spiller. So I have chosen a purple fritillaria. Now this is a bulb I ordered in from Holland Bulb Farm potted it up a couple months ago and have grown it onto this stage here at the house, knowing that I needed it for this project. So a purple fritillaria. The picture, as you can see, is gonna have beautiful bloom spikes that come out. And even when it's not in bloom, it just offers a fun, unique texture. You're in the center of the pot. The next thing that I'm going in with is a foxtail fern. Foxtail ferns is one of the full sun ferns that you can get. As we all know, most ferns are shade. This one is full sun. And it offers a wonderful chartreuse lime green to dark green foliage in a very unique structure. So it's the reason it's called a foxtail fern is because it looks like a tail, okay? It's kind of fun to pet as well. So that'll be one of my bulk fillers in this container. This will get on the large side. The other thing we're going in with is an angelonia. This is a sensation mix angelonia. I chose a purple one to marry with my purple fritillaria. Um, now an angelonia will also kind of double as a thriller and a filler. The an angelonia plant will get some size on it um, and it will bloom all through the summer. So even when my fritillaria may not be in bloom, this should provide some good color and double as both thriller and filler. And then for my spiller, I'm going with tried and true caliber coas. Caliber coas are good. They don't overtake a pot like a Super Tunia Vista bubble gum or any of those in the Petunia line or even a standard wave Petunia that gets big. Um, caliber coas don't take over um, a container like that. And I've gone with two colors here. Um, this one is labeled as Orange Kiss. Um, it's kind of more of the rosy pink color looking to me. And then this one is the Caliber Coa White. Um, this one may be a mistagged caliber coa, but any rate, it's this one and it's beautiful and I like it. So with all that, I think we're going to have really pretty containers here. So now it's just a matter of getting them planted. All right, before I get the plants into the soil, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some amendments into the soil. Even though this potting soil comes with some fertilizer mixed into it, I'm still gonna go ahead and add some garden tone and it has the biotone mixed in it. Um, as you all know, if you've watched any of my videos, I like the biotone, and so this product has that in it. And I'm also going to be putting in some worm castings just to give these 
plants a good boost because I need these or I want these to be really big, full, showy planters. So we're gonna mix these in and start planting. All right, wow guys, it has been a few days since I started filming this video, um, and I just showed you a pan shot of these two containers planted up here on the patio. I am thrilled with them. I feel like they are perfectly anchoring the patio, um, which is something that I've been missing here. So I'm extremely thrilled to have these Aquapots. Again, these are the Aquapots by Proven Winners, Michael Carr Designs, and this is the antique white that I'm showing you in this video here today. If you've got Aquapots or have experience with them, um, leave some comments down below. Tell the rest of us what you think about them. Um, these do come highly recommended. Um, there are many YouTube gardeners and Instagram gardeners that um, recommend these. And so when I found these, I was super pumped and excited to get them and put them here on the patio. I just knew they'd be perfect and I'm not disappointed thus far. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If for some reason you are not subscribed to the channel yet, I sure would love for you to do that. Hit that like button. But until next time, guys, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.